Hey there, it's Simbly Legacy Studio. Welcome back to another music reaction video. Today, we're taking a look at IDZ. Yeah, that's how I'm going to say it, because God forbid I say anything else other than IDZ. You guys are going to jump down my throat and go, oh, it's just going to get nasty, because you guys, uh, you're good at saying things right, and I'm good at saying things wrong. And those don't mesh well all the time now, do they? No, they don't. Uh, so today, of course, we're going to take a look at that awesome song, voted up by you guys in our Discord. If you want to vote up a song for us to check out, you got to do it through our Discord. And why is that? Well, let me tell you something. All the comments that come in down below, I get hundreds of comments a day. I am not going to see your suggestion for what song you would suggest, what the next band is. I need your help. And that is why the very awesome Sean Hammond made us a Discord server, made us a voting system in Discord where everyone has the chance to vote on their song choice. So head on over to our Discord. All you got to do is get signed up over there and it's really, really awesome because you can go and vote up other songs that you love that other people have already suggested. If you don't see your song suggestion, then suggest your own. It's absolutely awesome and it's helped so much because I got 150 songs that you guys have suggested so far. 100 150. I'm one guy. It's going to take a long time and I'm looking forward to every bit of it. But yeah, your help is greatly appreciated by heading over to Discord. All right. Let's get on with this action react action reaction. It's called an action reaction. We're going to IDZ Ijime Dame Zetai. Yeah, I'm just going to hit play. This is the live at Sonosphere 2014 UK version. This is the video that you guys suggested. You guys suggested, by the way, this was also suggested first, as far as we can tell, by MP Bones 11 So thank you, MP, for your suggestion. Here we go. Look at a cute little GoPro.
slide down there. So, um, one of their smaller crowds, huh? <laughs> Looks like there's a bit more to this video. Let's see what else is here. Okay, before we get on with our brutal review, we got to start by saying some quick thanks to some people that I deeply appreciate. Uh, first off, all of you amazing subscribers that are making this number go absolutely ballistic. You are incredible. Thank you so very much. That means the world to me. I've never seen so many people come in at once. Uh, I just I, I'm, I'm blown away. Um, and then out of, out of you, there are the select few that go, I want to go above and beyond and continue supporting this channel and its cause. Well, I deeply appreciate you guys, folks like our legacy historians, Brooklyn Barry, Tony Allen, and Sean Hammond. Each one of these people is absolutely incredible. I'll share a few more details on some of these people at the end of our video. Keep tuned in to see how you can help these guys continue to grow some of the things that they're trying to do too. Vanguard historians up over here. Uh, amazing people who have access, early access, as well as access to our members only area on Discord. And you can watch me work live. You can talk with me live as well um, uh, in our Discord that's only for members. Uh, and then finally, Finally, early access historians, folks like Peter Summergill, David Vidovic, who's a brand new member as well. Uh, Peter, I think, just renewed his subscription, which is awesome. Thank you so very, very much. Uh, it doesn't matter if you stick with me for a month or stick with me for, uh, like, some people like Tony Allen. I think he's on month... 27 or something like that it, whether you've stuck it out for years or whether you've stuck it out for a month i deeply appreciate everyone who donates to the cause of clean content here on youtube trying to make a difference and do something awesome and saying that our verse of the day today is micah 6 8 he has told you oh man what is good and what does the lord require of you but to do justice and love kindness and walk humbly with your god i love that verse all right my friends it's time for the brutal review do not forget that anything i say in this channel is my own opinion and usually is an attempt to trying to be funny. So if you are offended by something I say, then you're overthinking things. And seriously, if you're going to be offended by stupid little stuff that one individual says, uh, you're not going to fit in well here. Just food for thought. Keep in mind that this channel is for the few, not the many. Okay, you got to have a sense of humor here and an understanding that everyone's going to have a differing opinion than you. Okay, we have that clear? All right, I've said it, and that's as simple as it goes. Remember, anything I say from this moment moving forward, period, is simply my opinion. And I am that tiny little ant in that world, that nest of amazing people that love these, this band. So, come on, seriously, do you think anything I'm going to say is going to affect your favorite people? No. So, enjoy this brutal reaction because I, I'm brutal. What is my professional knowledge on some of this? I have none.
Okay, I've done some audio uh, mixing for a couple different organizations and I write my own music, but that's about it. Okay, so what uh, professional right do I have to make my statements? None. Okay, are we on the same page? Good, let's go. A 2014 GoPro. Such awesome audio coming out of those GoPros. And it, they, they have the special case on there, which means everything's going to sound really muted. They're going to love it when they play it later. Like, I got the video! And they'll play it back and they'll hear them singing it. Yeah, okay. By the way, I'm sorry. I don't understand the mosh pit culture. I don't. I don't. I really don't. And honestly, I don't understand the concert culture. And you're like, dude, you're starting off rough. Listen, here's the thing. First off, I'm hard of hearing. So concerts like this actually really hurt my ears. Um, and I'm like, well, if I'm going to take earplugs and go to one of these concerts, then what's, what's the point personally? Not only that, but I'm sorry. The first thing that comes to my head in this moment is what if you have to go to the bathroom? I have been in, in crowds like this, where you're just that one person mashed up against everybody else. You smell the BO from the person over here and over here, and you probably got some of your own going on. Uh, I just, it's such a inconvenient, uncomfortable situation for me, not to mention it's literally hurting my ears. I'm just not built for concerts. And in the same way, obviously, I'm not built for mosh pits at all. Um, that's just me. Just me. Yes, I know some of you are actually flying to Japan to go to and see some of these concerts. That's amazing that you that you are doing that. Enjoy it. That sounds like so much fun traveling to another country to go and see one of these concerts. That's cool. I will never be able to afford something like that. And if I was going to another country to do that sort of thing, I wouldn't be going for a concert personally. I'd be going for everything else that makes the culture over there beautiful. That's just me. But I love music, and so that's why I react for this for you. They're like, okay, I just unsubscribed. I know. <laughs> I'm remembering a comment that I saw the other day in my channel that says that Sue does not utilize vibrato. She has a laser voice. I'm sorry, I'm hearing vibrato right here and right now. I love how she uses her vibrato. There is something beautiful about hers. I've seen people use vibrato wrong time and time and time again. I'm one of those people. Uh, and so I love her voice. It's clear. It's crisp. It is laser focused. And then she utilizes that vibrato just when it needs to be used. But she does use vibrato. I'm just saying. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, I know you guys are going to do this, but I'm going to tell you to do it anyway. Leave the uh, lyrics down below. I know that this one is supposed to be about anti-bullying, which is awesome. Let me see if there's any closed captions. Unavailable. Dead gummit. Well, uh, I would love to. I'll have to check out the lyrics later. I know every time that we've talked about bullying and uh, all the negativity and things like that that we deal with here on YouTube in general, uh, each one of you said, Baby Metal would never want this, and it, they speak it very strongly in their IDZ song. So uh, put it down in the comments, leave your comments down below as I know you will. Give us the deets, give us the details on this song. <laughs>
I'm just going to say this really quickly. Um, I'm still, I'm still not a choreography fan. Uh, not saying that their choreography is bad. I'm just saying I don't. It, it doesn't add anything for me personally. That's perfectly fine. Someone else is going to enjoy it. I honestly have been reacting to some other bands recently, and I prefer bands that uh, I prefer bands that are, you know, the singers are also the instrumentalists. Uh, and so that would be my personal leaning, um, where where you're looking at bands that. Um, instead of choreography, they're playing their guitars, they're playing their basses, they're playing their drums, they're playing their instruments, and they're still singing at the same time. That's my personal preference. Um, just because I feel like I connect more with those personally. Uh, for those who appreciate the choreography and understand the choreography, this is definitely for you. They definitely focused on that in this video. Me, I'm more focused on the music, and choreography personally does not add very much to me personally. It, it subtracts from the personal connection that I want to have with these individuals. And, and, and I've said this before, uh, whoops, uh, I've said this before that, um, international, what is the international language of all of us? Uh, we all cry together. We all laugh together. We all, uh, can connect together. It doesn't matter what language you speak. And so choreography is certainly a bit of an international language, but personally, I read body posture, I read emotion, I'm very empathetic with people, uh, and so I see the guitarist here looking like they're having an absolute ball, and then um, I, I prefer that. I prefer to be reading your emotions as you're singing, as you're doing your thing, uh, versus a choreography, which means that you're acting in the moment. Uh, instead of seeing how your face is, you're, 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 a, you're in an acting role situation. That's just me personally. Uh, Baby Metal's got some incredible songs. I've very much enjoyed this song, um, it, but their choreography side of things doesn't touch me the same way that I know it touches you guys. So that's just my 10 cents, my own. <laughs> At least I said Dame correct. Awesome voice. Awesome voice. The band in the background is killing this. My gosh. Sounds awesome. A uh, guy on the ESP over there, we're doing his lead right now. Fantastic. <laughs> Perfect muting right at the same moment. Let me go back 10 seconds. That's awesome. Nice. Nice. Okay, I got a question for you guys. Is there any kind of screens that they have out there that show the lyrics, uh, you know, in, in English for the audience? I mean, because you guys called me out for, you know, not knowing the lyrics and how terrible of me for not knowing them. And so my curiosity would be, is there something there that helps the audience of several thousand people plus um, to understand what's being said or are they in the dark as I am? Uh, now, me personally, 
I I listen to voices in a lyric in in a in a musical sense as a musical instrument just because um I I have uh, an issue where my hear, ears just cannot hear lyrics very well. Uh, I've always had that problem. And I even went to a, an ear doctor, and he's going, you got a brain issue, buddy. I mean, you got great hearing, but you're hearing frequencies at a higher level. Uh, and then you're also uh, uh, unable to connect the dots on what words are being said. And that's and that's just a situation with ADHD, believe it or not. So uh, riddle me that. Tell me that. Uh, do they do anything to help people like me be aware of what these lyrics are? Or do you have to go on the hunt to find those lyrics for yourself and figure out what, what they're actually saying in English? I'm just curious. <laughs> that transition i really really do that sounded beautiful uh a nice sweet note between her singing her lead line and then the background music going into that different uh that different key it sounded absolutely <laughs> hardcore fans uh what are we seeing here we're seeing the girls fight each other per se uh considering anti-bullying situation scenario leave your comment down below on what we're seeing in this choreography because even though i might not be a fan of it there are so many people who will be and your comments down below can make all the difference to introduce someone else to this band and uh and give someone else an opportunity to appreciate it even more so uh thank you for everyone who does that I, it means a lot to us Honestly, I'm really enjoying this song. I, I call it a brutal review because I know that my opinions are going to make people angry. And each one of us is allowed an opinion. Uh, it's amazing to me how people get so offended by one person's opinion. It's, it's incredible that, that people become offended. And usually it's because of either not understanding the culture, uh, a, a cultural a lack of no, a lack of knowledge, period, uh, on one thing or another, or simply a difference of opinion that is what makes our world absolutely incredible because that's what gives us something called variety. So uh, I, I, I don't have anything bad to say about this. It's a very, very good song. I'm enjoying it very much. Uh, and personally, though, I'm not a choreography kind of guy. Um, I appreciate that I am hearing the other girls uh, much clearer. And you can tell that they their mics are on and that you're hearing them talk their parts out. Um, and their focus is to keep the crowd moving. Their, their focus is to tell the story through their actions. Uh, the, the, they don't sing nearly as much as Sue does. It's all very focused on, in on Sue. And so... Personally, I'm enjoying the song very much. So for those of you who say I hate on baby metal too much, uh, uh, you just, you're not understanding where my heart is. And you're like, well, you, you're just not a metal fan, so you shouldn't be reacting to metal. I can react to whatever I want. And my audience has asked me to react to this. I'm just giving back to my audience. And if they want me to react to metal, I'll react to metal. But I'll react with my opinion. And... Have you noticed I'm actually rather flexible? I've enjoyed some metal songs very much. So uh, chill your role if you're finding yourself offended by me.
Hang on, we're going back. We're going back once again. Key change and and sweet notes all make it for me. That let's play it again. I love that. Was IDZ. See you. See you. See you. All right, I know this is a very long video, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, wish everyone well. I'm assuming that you're going to scoot now. So thank you so much for watching. Keep it crispy. First Tim 412. We'll see you in the next video. If you did enjoy this, hit that like button. If you absolutely hated it, go ahead and hit the dislike button. That's okay. I understand. And then, of course, uh, leave your comments down below. Make sure to keep them clean. No foul language and especially no hate. Okay, you can you can you can call me out for whatever you want. Just, just, just keep it respectful. And I'm totally okay with that. Um, I can, I can handle it. I can totally handle it, but let's be respectful in, in there for everyone else that, that goes and reads the comments too. Uh, that would mean a lot. So thank you so very much. Now in saying that, for those of you who are still here, I'm going to give you a few minutes uh, to, to chat with you and just update you on things since we're at the beginning of the year and something I kind of want to focus on uh, moving forward. So first off, thank you so very much for watching and for investing as much time as you do in my little channel that means so much to me it's such an incredible blessing to have you all here uh really quickly i love talking about my legacy historians who are incredible human beings and i and i love to uh remind people that there are other people who we can bless as well uh sean hammond has a great youtube channel but is underrated he needs more subscribers and it would mean a lot if you'd consider running over to his channel it's called drac myth um and subscribe to his channel show him some support it would mean a lot uh and i just i want to help the people who help me succeed i want to help them succeed i want this to be a diving platform in the same way where this channel is introducing other people to their favorite bands and maybe what they could be that come their new favorite bands even if they're not mine maybe you loved it and you know you're going to stick around and find out that you like other bands based off of this or whatever the case may be um I just want to make this a diving board place where we bless people, we encourage people, and that this is a place that makes a difference. Um, we're leaving a legacy, we're leaving a godly legacy, I want to leave a legacy that my family can be proud of, and the way to do that is by supporting each other. So, Sean Hammond, go check out his stuff. Remember, he made our Discord. He made our voting system. He's doing incredible things to keep this channel absolutely going so strong and it's so beautiful. So, please, send him some thanks. Get over to his channel. Support the cause of what he's doing over there. Um, we're all just trying to grow a little bit at a time and he deserves far more than he has. So, show him some love. That would be, that would be awesome blow up his YouTube channel. That would be incredible. Tony Allen, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, who has been a humongous supporter of this channel for forever. Well, now that we're doing reactions, this guy has gone above and beyond and then some, uh, and uh, has even sent me a Christmas gift of a, a, a ultra high quality uh, record or UHQR record of Steely Dan's Asia. And it's the most beautiful thing you'd ever hear on planet Earth. Oh my gosh, a real record record running on uh, my, my rec record table. It's beautiful. You can check out some of those videos. We've got a lot more to come on that as we continue to react to that incredible album from Asia, getting to hear it in all of its real gorgeous quality. Beautiful. 
And then uh, thanks to Brooklyn Barry, a very, very interesting uh, comment I got from him the other day. Uh, I was I don't remember where I was, but he left me a message and he said, hey, should I change my username? His username was the real BSer, uh, real BSer 56. I think it still is here on YouTube. Um, and he's like, should I change my username? Since I know you're trying to keep it clean or whatnot. And he told me that the BSer actually stood for his initials, but all the same, you know, uh, he realized that, you know, it, people could take it out of context and he didn't want that. And I was like, no, you don't have to change your username. Don't 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 change what you believe what you believe or what you think is. I'm sorry, my camera's going crazy right now. I don't know why it's going in and out of focus the way it is. D don't don't change yourself for the channel. Change yourself for you. If if that's something that you feel is important to you, I support you in that. But don't do that for the sake of this channel. Um, I I don't expect that from anyone. Uh, and he's like, okay, thanks, uh, and went away. And the next thing I know, he's back, and he's like, okay, I changed it. And I'm like, <laughs> you didn't have to do that. But they're really, really incredible people here. So Brooklyn Barry is uh, the real BSer, and we'll be calling him Brooklyn Barry from here on out. Uh, and uh, thank you so very much for each of you that understand and believe in the cause that I'm trying to do here. Um, this channel can make a difference, can be a difference, and can be a humongous change. Um, for the future and i i dream of that and i want that and so the fact that you guys stick it out with me the way you do uh and and hopefully we're touching hearts here hopefully we're changing minds here hopefully we're doing some beneficial stuff here uh, hopefully we're honoring god here I, I just i i love what we're doing i love the people that are surrounding me and i don't deserve it and it's just such an honor to have you here. So thank you. I also want to say thank you to one more group of people that I haven't thanked in the past and, and deserve thanks. Um, the people that go out of their way to monetarily help the channel through something that we call super thanks. And super thanks, uh, there might be a button somewhere. I don't know where people go to get. It's either in the bottom of the videos or it's on the YouTube channel itself. But you guys, a bunch of you in the last month have gone out of your way to donate in in incredible ways and so i just want to say thanks to space space nave uh scott diver scott Teton toto tv goat qi and tony allen and the funny thing is uh three of these people are members of my channel they're already paying to support the growth of the channel um and then here they are continuing to donate <laughs> above and beyond that and so thank you so very much to each and every one of you uh, I, I i don't i i i don't deserve any money period we all know this i don't deserve any money period uh, but you guys are absolutely incredible and if you want to know the back end of things um the long story short is when you get monetized the basic rule of thumb and this and this flexes all over the place but the basic rule of thumb is for every thousand views you get you basically get 10 bucks that's basically how it plays out unless there are some special scenarios but that's about it um and so if that's if you monetize and a lot of our stuff isn't monetized because we're using copyrighted works as you guys already know um so in the last couple months, in the last six months, uh, maybe, no, even longer, we've been down to $60 a month in, in monetization. Uh, and the thing is, YouTube doesn't pay out until you get 100 bucks. So basically, we've get, gotten paid every other month, and we've gotten about $120. Um, this month will be the first month that, uh, well, coming up here at the end of January, this will be the first time that we've actually gotten a full payment and then some. We're looking in the ballpark of three to four hundred dollars this month. So with the very hard push that you and I have done uh, on this on this channel, um, where we've seen a humongous percentage increase in finances, and that means so much to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then in uh, on top of that, my ultimate goal is to make about two thousand dollars a month through my business. And this month has been a good month. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I've quite made two thousand. Uh, but we had a couple caricature gigs. We had a couple commissions for paintings and for caricatures. Uh, we've had uh, I've had done two video projects for a local museum here. So there's been some good money that has come in uh, that almost got me to that goal. Now, 
I have a long way to go. $2,000 uh, might take care of keeping my business afloat, but that doesn't take care of keeping my family afloat. But $2,000 is the goal that I want to see happen here on YouTube, um, and it would mean a lot. So that's what I'm shooting for, and the difference between my channel and everyone else's channel is I'm just bluntly honest. I'm loving what I'm making here, and if you think I'm all about the money, I'm not all about the money because, honestly... Uh, we're ba barely making any money. I think I make forty dollars through all of our uh, channel members. I'm doing it. I'm doing all this because I love it, and because I want to keep doing it. And so, um, this just means a lot to me, and I appreciate you guys. So this has been a super long video. I don't mean to go quite that long, uh, but uh, thank you to everyone who's making this possible. This is a a beautiful, uh, uh, just a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place, and we're making a difference, and it means a lot. So thank you so very much for everyone who's supporting, because we're, 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 we're doing things here that I, I, couldn't, I couldn't be more proud of. All right, well, we got some videos coming your way that you want to check out next. And, of course, if you haven't gotten subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Make that counter go up. We love you. We'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio. Bye.